So farming runes in this game is super important and today guys I bring you the best methods that are on offer within this game. New players, old players, new game plus players, everybody. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So there are tons of methods in farming runes within this game, some incredible, some super efficient, some will see you leveling up in no time at all. What I will say is, I have posted a real in-depth guide for brand new players to this game in getting to a level 100 in under an hour. Easy, I will link that down below guys. This video is more so for, I'd say, well, average to hardcore players, players past their level of 100, players who've beat the first few bosses, including Radan and Godric. But hey, even so, everyone can still farm all of these spots, especially the first place, which is the Fort Faroth farmable dragon, that giant white dragon. Now, before we even check this out, you want to get yourself the gold scarab. There's no two which ways about it, this talisman just makes farming runes so much more efficient because you earn a 20% increase on every part of runes you earn people. And this is dropped from the Clean Rock Knight sequel and the Clean Rock Knight spear bosses found within the abandoned cave as you can see on screen here. You also guys want to get those gold pickled foul feet. Now you can pick up a recipe from these if you head to the Mert Water Catacombs, head to the boss room, open up their chest if you haven't been here already, you'll be approached by an NPC called Patches. He will want to fight you. Fight him, take him down to half health. When he surrenders, do not kill him. From here guys, head back to the grace point, then come back down to him, he's now your render. You can buy these gold pickled foul feet off him, can't remember how many, it's probably between 3 or 5. But you also can buy the recipe so you can craft these yourself. The gold pickled falfi and the gold scarab together, I believe it's like 50 to 55% extra runes, people. So, yes, definitely worth it. Okay, so back to that fort for our farmable dragon. Now, this you can do at any level, absolutely any level. It's a part of that guide I made for new players. And it will see you earning what 70k runes in 30 to 45 seconds. Best case, worst case, 70k runes in about four to six minutes. And that's for new players. So to do this, you need a weapon with that bloodlust build up on it. Any weapon will work, but the best way to do this, guys, is to get the swarm of flies obtained from the Morgan Dynasty area, which you'll see on the screen now, guys. Come here, come into this cave, and you'll see it just literally there in the corner. This is absolutely brutal for that bloodlust build up. Now, this Morgan Dynasty area, for people that do not know, is probably actually is the best area in the game to farm runes and to actually get here guys early on in the game you want to progress to defeating Margie and Godric and then head back to the white face Vari just left of the first step grace point complete his quest guys and he ultimately gives you the pure blood knights medal this teleports you to this Mogwin area now there's plenty of guides on the actual quest for that Whiteface Vari and it is a part of that guide I'll link down below if you're unsure about this but I'm pretty sure everyone now has a way in getting here. But hey, back to the Fort for Rath Dragon. Swarm of Flies guys. This makes farming this dragon stupid quick. 30 seconds. Easy. This is best case by the way. Worst case, new player with a bloodlust build up weapon probably going to take you between 4 and 6 minutes. Either way guys, this is what you want to do, whatever you're using. Firstly, activate the Fort Thruff Grace if you haven't already guys, super important. Then guys, run down to the dragon, stand in front of the dragon and kill it. I would recommend you doing it on a horse. If you're using this swarm of flies, have that seal in your right hand and just spam it at this dragon. If you don't have this and you're using a weapon, again, right hand, sit on your horse. And you'll notice his health will just all of a sudden just keep dropping off. Now, when he dies, guys, as soon as he does the animation of even moving, you need to peg it back to that grace point as quickly as possible and then sit down. Now, if you think you've missed time, this guys, if you think you've left it a little too late and he's already started moving before you've even reacted, what you can do is, is quickly pull up your map and fast travel to the nearest grace point, wherever your instincts take you. Doing this, you won't get the runes, but you should still have the dragon here when you come back so you can continue farming him with this method. Again, this works super efficiently with both a blood blast build up weapon. Or the swarm of flies, obviously with a swarm of flies, so it's going to be much, much easier. 
but this won't be available to new players. So yeah guys, you can do this over and over and over again. With a swarm of flies, you're probably looking between 15 and 20 million runes an hour, probably much, much more. Also just want to shout out uh, Mill Gaming for allowing me to use this footage on killing this dragon with this uh, swarm of flies. It saves me going this new game plus to showcase this to you and how effective this is. So again, cut it to Mill Gaming, his channel can be found linked down below. So we're going to move on to a farm but you can do it at the start of the game. This is nowhere near as efficient as the farmable dragon, but a lot of people will have already killed the dragon. But it is the bulls rolling off the hill near Lenny's eyes. This one, as I'm sure many of you already know of, uh, is super efficient. It's nowhere near the best in the game anymore. It was at one stage. It will see you earning between 4 and 10k runes every 2 minutes, maybe, if you're lucky and you're quick. So from this Lenny's eyes grace point, you want to run down this hill. Stand here, you'll see a boulder spawn and it will come towards you. Dodge out of the way of it, it'll roll up the map and you'll get over 2k runes if you are rocking that gold scarab talisman. You can also run down a little further, there is another uh, ball here, again it will target you. Dodge out of the way, it will roll up the map. There you go, another 2k runes. From here guys, let's quickly just fast travel back to that Lemon's Rise Grace Point, rinse and repeat for as long as you like. There's also guys a one time thing here where you can actually get 40 plus K runes for kiting a knight's cavalry. To do this it needs to be night time from the Lenny's Rise Grace Point as you can see this, this dude the knight's uh, cavalry on the bridge run past him and kite him up the hill behind him. You want to keep him close to you because he does lose interest quite easily. Now he will be running through the same poison spores you'll be running through but once you get to the top and take a sharp left guys you'll notice if you didn't lose him that his health will just disappear off the screen and you'll get those runes. It really is as simple as that guys. Now another spot that people actually abused for about a day and then quickly forgot about it was within the deep root depths. A great farm from across the roots grace point as you can see on the screen here. You spawn in here guys, kill these three enemies, simply reset at the grace. It's basically 15k runes every 30 to 45 seconds if you're quick enough. Simple as that. It's just getting here was the problem because you had to come down through Knockland City, take out the twin gargoyles who weren't easy bosses, make your way through the tomb at the end of their room, run all the way here. But once you are here, it is actually a decent farm. But hey, I think it is a farm now for the past. We then have by far the best farm in this game, like I said, within Mogwin Dynasty. This area here within the south east of Siofa River is by far the best in the game for all players guys. If you are low level and you get here, you want to make your way to this hill. This hill right here, the grace point of the palace approach ledge road, this is where all that good stuff happens. Because on this hill there's about 15 or 20 enemies. These with that gold scarab and that gold pickled foul foot would drop you almost, well, over 3k runes each, probably more guys. That's each enemy. Now if you got means of taking all of these out, which I'll talk about in a quick second, you can earn a ton of runes in quick succession. But if you don't, you want to grab yourself a bow and arrow. If you're a new player, a low level player, and you've got here, you want to grab yourself a bow and arrow. There's plenty of vendors across the world that sell these. Also the twin maiden husks, I believe, sell them too. Any bow will do, any arrows will do. Spawning that disgrace, guys, look off to your left, you'll see a bird. Aim for the C in the tree as you can see me doing on screen now guys and if you're efficient enough you can do this every 5 to 10 seconds. Shoot the bird, it runs off the map and you'll earn over 13k runes depending on what buffs you have. It's as simple as guys just sitting down, standing back up, shooting the bird, sitting back down, standing back up, shooting the bird. Easy runes for everybody. No fighting really involved. But hey, the hill is still the best spot. But the hill requires a powerful weapon and a powerful character to take out all of these these uh, enemies. Now obviously the best way in doing this is using the Relic Sword. This is the Aldum Beast Remembrance weapon. So you have to complete the game, beat the last boss and you get his remembrance, take it to two fingers within the round table and you can pick the Relic Sword. This will take out the whole hill in one swipe. Utterly ridiculous. But guys, there are other weapons you can use where you can take out half of this hill at a time, making it super, super efficient, where you don't actually have to complete the games you get. One weapon what's amazing at doing this is the Margarine Sacred Spear. 
These scars you get for defeating Margarine of this area. You defeat him, you get his remembrance, you can take it to two fingers, guys, and pick this weapon. Level it up, come back, and you can farm away. Super, super easy, super, super quick. But what I will say is do not kill Margarine if you haven't completed the Whiteface very quest. Because if you do defeat Margarine before finishing this quest, you'll lose out on your chance of getting the White Mask helmet and the armor set that goes with it. This is one of the best in the game, if not the best in the game, for that bloodlust build up builds. There's no two which ways about it. So yes, although you can come here and farm away, do not defeat Margarine until you've completed that quest line. And there's plenty of guys out there guys, I'll be sure to upload one myself pretty soon. Another great weapon in taking out a hell out of the hill is the Star Scourge Greatsword. This is from the Radan Remembrance. So defeat the Radan, one of the earlier bosses, take his remembrance to two fingers, and pick the Star Scourge Greatsword. Absolutely brutal weapon. I absolutely love it. Now there is another spot guys, not quite as good as the hill, but it's still decent and it's located on the other side of this area near the Dynasty Mausoleum entrance. Here again guys, you can kill all these enemies in an instant if that weapon is right. Could also use probably a lot of sorcery would help you out here as well. Same with taking out the enemies on the hill and there's plenty of sorcery, there's plenty of incantations that does great area of effect damage. So hey, I'm pretty sure if you look in the comment section of this video, people will definitely help you out. But there we have it guys, some of the best rune farms in the game, one for everybody and I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, if you're confused about anything here guys, check out the links I'll put in the video description. The videos there will explain everything you need to know and there we have it guys on that note the end of the video has arrived if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully people i will see you on that next one